Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on snuffle mats. It was recently Beauty's birthday and she got some snuffle mats for her birthday and of course I had to get them for the other two as well. And I've always wanted to get them because they're just very useful for keeping dogs entertained and especially if the dogs tend to be stressful, it's something for them to sort of root around at. I got two different styles of mats. The top one here that kind of looks like a bowl of lettuce is for Tia. So it's got flat flappy bits on it and it's, it's kind of created in a circle. Whereas the ones for Toby and Beauty are sort of a noodly looking mat. It's, it's got like really thick fibres. To use a snuffle mat you can either put treats and things or what I'm going to be doing is putting in their food. So I'm going to scatter Beauty's food up on top of here. And then what I do is I just sort of drag my hand around it to let the food go down into the fibres. And then when you give them the mat they can just sniff around at it and they can find the pieces. And it's like they're, it's like foraging in the wild. Snuffle mats offer a great variety because a dog that's always getting their food in a bowl, well that's it, it's just food from a bowl. Whereas if they're sniffing around in a mat, they're hunting for it, it's like a game. So it's like hide and seek but you get food. One of the main reasons I got this for Beauty in particular is because Beauty when she came to me was extremely food aggressive. Now she's working on it, we're getting better at it. I can. She went from not being able to have people in the room to I can now say pat her back or whatever while she's eating and she won't try to kill me. However, I think a snuffle mat might help as well because it'll slow her down with her eating a bit because she obviously can't gulp down the food because there's fibres in the way. But she's still getting her food and it's more of a game so I can present it more as a a friendly thing to do with food that it's, it's okay your food isn't being taken away no one's gonna be taking it from you but look you get to play a game and when you're done oh very good girl and give her some sausage or something tia's is the exact same way i just poured the nuts on top and kind of spreading them out in between the different flaps of fake lettuce and then toby's is exactly the same as beauty's one where i just put the nuts in as well so there's lots of gaps in between the fibers here i'm just going to call them fibers because i don't know what to call them flaps um, so there's lots of gaps for the nuts to be down in and when I presented them to them they absolutely loved it. So Beauty was standing on it, she was using her nose, she was hunting for it. She got very slimy but it's okay because these ones are machine washable. Which is fantastic because I do not fancy cleaning them by hand and having to hang them out. So I put them down for the three dogs and Beauty had a blast. She spent a good, she took a good 10 minutes or so to eat, whereas usually she gulps down all her food straight away in about 20 seconds. Toby took quite a long time, but I honestly think it's because he's got such a long nose. I don't think he was able to flatten his nose enough to get the nuts out from the very, very bottom. So the ones on top of the fibres and the ones in the middle he could get, but the bottom was a bit of an issue. And Tia just loved it. Tia just had her head completely buried in the fibres looking for these nuts that were hiding in the bottom. And she had a great time just hoovering them all up. Snuffle mats are a great thing for stress as well. So dogs that get stressed very easily if they're, you know, they don't like being left on their own or they're scared of fireworks and things. You give them a snuffle mat and it just keeps them, it keeps their mind on something that isn't the scary thing. So if there's fireworks outside, you get some little bits of treats and you put them in amongst the fibres and they'll hunt for them. And they'll, you know, they'll, their mind is occupied with something else. So they're not as spooked. Dogs who get bored easily when you leave the house, you can leave down a snuffle mat for them if you run to the shop or whatever, and they get to do that. If it's raining outside and you decide, screw it, we're going to put down a snuffle mat, just so you've got something to think about. So they're not just sitting there all day doing nothing, then there's a bowl of food and they go to bed and they wake up and there's a bowl of food and they do nothing and yada yada yada. So it's just, it's something to mix things up, get them mentally stimulated, get them thinking and like hunting around the place with the little snoots, and it's great. I will put the links for these specific snuffle mats in the description because I cannot remember the name of them off the top of my head right now. So I'll just I'll put the links, but it's the UK Amazon, so US people you might need to find like the same seller or something. I I don't know how Amazon works. The bigger mats were of really good quality. There's really the, the fibers are so thick I would honestly use them as a carpet in my room if I could. And you can see there's plenty of gaps down there for the nuts to sit without being able to be seen because the fibres all overlap on top of it. These mats also come with suction cups to stick to the sides in case your dog sort of shoves it around the place. I didn't need to use them but the suction cups do work on a flat surface. Tia's one was is very similar, it's just the it's big flat pieces of material instead. You can see that they're kind of put down in circles. So there's a big gap between each one and then there's little gaps along the way. When she was eating she did forget one nut 
so she got that afterwards but usually I find no nuts of any kind in here they usually get all of them fairly easily um at the very end of their feeding if, if I'm like right they think they're done so it's all good I'll just turn the mat upside down give it a tap lift it up any nuts that weren't gotten the first time they will eat off the floor and then they're fine they haven't managed to rip any of the pieces out they haven't damaged them in any way and this one in particular is great because there's a drawstring so you can actually make it into a bowl to make it more difficult or you can draw it in all the way so that it's really easy to store and it's just out of the way you can throw it into a box or a bag or under a bed the back of the small mat has got some little rubber pieces here to help with gripping it wasn't really sliding around the place at all because she was kind of shoving her head in and down she wasn't trying to slide it around and then the bigger one has got the exact same thing and it was the exact same scenario they were stepping on it so it wasn't sliding around but you can see here these sort of side flaps that's where the suction cups attach to the back also has a zip so that you can take out the foam border that kind of makes a lip on it so you take out that foam piece and then the rest of it's all machine washable and then you can just zip it back in when it's done and it's dry. So they're super, super handy, super easy to clean and use. So all in all, I definitely would recommend snuffle mats for your dogs, especially if you live, say, in a flat or you live in a place that it rains a lot that you wouldn't be taking your dogs out in the rain because it's just something for them to do that you just give it to them occasionally and it's something fun that keeps their mind occupied. They're not terribly expensive either. I think the big one was 20 something and the small one was 15 or 20. So they're actually fairly realistic for you to buy as well. You won't be breaking the bank. So yeah, if you have a dog, you should probably get a snuffle mat. They're just cool and they like them. And I'm hoping Beauty approves of her birthday present. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my absolute best to help. Thank you for watching.